In this video, we'll try to understand how to calculate the beam reactions in case of a simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load. Now the arrangement for the beam is as shown over here. So total span length is given as 3 plus 1.5 that is 4.5 meter and it is carrying a uniformly distributed load of 12 kN per meter and the uniformly varying load over a length of 1.5 meter. So UDL is acting over a length of 3 meter and UL is acting over a length of 1.5 meter. So first we'll convert this uniformly distributed load which is a rectangular distribution into a point load and then the UVL which is acting over 1.5 meter load into a point load which is nothing but the triangular distribution. So first we'll consider the uniformly distributed load of 12 kN 12 kN per meter acting over 3 meter length. So 12 kN per meter that is for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 12 kN. Now it is acting over 3 meter lengths. Then for 3 meter length the load that will be acting is 12 multiplied by 3 that is 36 kN. And it will be acting at the center of the 3 meter length. So this 12 kN per meter multiplied by 3 meter. So this meter meter will get cancelled. So it will be 36 12 into 3 36 kN and it will be acting at the center of 3 meter length because this is a rectangular distribution and that is for 3 meter length so centroid will be 3 upon 2 that is 1.5 meter. So let us convert this particular UDL into a point load of 36 kN acting at a distance of 1.5 meter. So as you can see over here we have converted UDL into a point load acting at a distance of 1.5 meter. Now we will convert this UVL into a point load and it is acting over a length of 1.5 meter. Now it is a triangular distribution. So for uniformly varying load of 12 kN per meter acting over 1.5 meter length. So UVL load will be as it is a triangular distribution it will be one half base into height. Okay we can simplify in this particular manner. So it is one half base is 1.5 and height is 12 kN per meter. So this meter meter will get cancelled and it will be 9 kN that is 12 into 1.5 that is 18 18 divided by 2 that is 9 kN. Now as it is a triangular distribution the centroid of the triangle will be at a distance of B upon 3 from the base so this is the base from this it will be at a distance of B by 3 or 2B by 3 from the apex. So either of this you can consider so B upon 3 base is nothing but 1.5 meter so 1.5 meter divided by 3 that is 0 0.5 meter. So will convert this UVL into a point load of 9 kN acting at a distance of 0 0.5 meter from the base of the triangle. So now we have converted UDL and UVL into point loads. Now we have to calculate the reactions over here. So applying the conditions of equilibrium, so summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0, upward force Upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. So RA and RB they are acting in the upward direction so they are positive. 36 and 9 kN they are acting in the downward direction so they are negative. So RA plus RB is equal to 45 kN. Now summation of moment is equal to 0. So clockwise moments they are considered as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative. Now this RB correct. So you can see this particular RB it will produce anti-clockwise moment about A so it will be negative and the distance between B and A is 3 meter so it is minus RB into 3 whereas this 36 it will produce clockwise moment so you can see the point load of 36 it will produce clockwise moment and perpendicular distance is 1.5 meter so 36 into 1.5 similarly this 9 kN point load it will also produce clockwise moment about A so it is 9 and the perpendicular distance is 3 plus 0.5 that is 3.5 and that is equal to 0. So if you make the calculations correct then it will be 85.5 is equal to transfer this negative term on this side it will become positive. So 85.5 divided by 3 that is equal to RB. So RB will be equal to 28.5 kN. Now we'll substitute this value of RB in equation 1. So from equation 1 RA will be equal to 45 minus RB. Substitute the value of RB that is 28.5 so 45 minus 28.5 that is 16.5 kN. So in this way we can calculate the reactions in case of a simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load and a uniformly varying load. Thank you very much for watching.